Hey everybody, just doing a quick video on my tomato hornworm moths. I'll show everybody the process and how you can breed your own tomato hornworm caterpillars for your bearded dragons. So, this is my setup here. It's just a fish tank that I got on its side. And I built this little screen door for it so I can get in there. And I got four adult moths and one that's about ready to hatch out of a cocoon there. Oh, you're gonna get out. So these are nocturnal moths, so I like to keep them pretty dark. But right now I got the light on so you guys can see what's going on in here. So this is how they start off. These are the eggs. Oh, we got a blue, couple little babies actually hatching out right now. Oh. So these guys are going to actually get about four inches long when they're full grown caterpillars. And they get about the thickness of a finger or so, so they're huge. But uh, every day I've been collecting about 50 eggs from my adults. And once I collect these eggs, I'll let them sit in here for a day or two at like 84 degrees or so. And then I uh, set them up with the food here like this so that when they first hatch out they got something to eat but uh, they specialize on their food so you have to get this specific food for them to eat and it, it comes as a powder and you just mix mix water in with it and cook it for a little bit kind of like cream of wheat so but these guys will uh, they'll feed on that and they'll change the food out pretty much every day so that doesn't go bad there's maybe about 50 caterpillars in this jar right now 50 little baby caterpillars most of them are down there on the food so these guys are going to be about full grown within two weeks or so if you keep the temperature at about 80 degrees 85 so here's what they look like when they very first start hatching out they're white and they got the little horn on their back so that's the back side with the horn and as they get bigger their back has a fake eye spot so it almost looks like the head of the caterpillar that has the horn but it's not it's the uh, the back side so and they'll climb up this little plastic fence stuff and get to the food so and then after two weeks when they're full grown if I haven't fed them off to the lizards then I will let them put them in a containers individually so that they go into their the cocoon and uh, it usually takes between 5 and 21 days and uh, this is a cocoon right here so this one's getting very close to hatching they'll turn a darker black when they uh, right before they hatch out so, and as soon as they hatch out, they will be laying eggs on the lettuce that I have in here. Which, I'm sure there's already a ton of eggs on this. I've already went through it once today. Let's see. They do most of the egg laying at night. There's one. So the eggs will adhere right to the leafy green stuff and then you can just roll them off with your fingers because they're 
they're pretty hard. Harder than you'd expect for a insect egg. And then the moths themselves are gonna feed off of the uh, this hummingbird feeder. So I just got a basic hummingbird feeder set up with uh, the hummingbird nectar, this stuff. And uh, that's enough food in there to keep them going pretty much their whole lifespan. So I don't have to, I don't have much daily upkeep on the feeder, but I do have to go through every day and uh, pull the eggs off because they do like to lay eggs on that feeder. See, there's one a couple right there. So I go through and I get make sure that there's no eggs on the feeder every day. And also the feeder stand. So I go through I get all these. If you don't get them then you end up getting some babies hatching in the enclosure which isn't very desirable but you can always just take a q-tip oh there you go I saw one on the wall a second ago I don't see him anymore but uh, I just take a q-tip that and uh, and round up the babies that way and then put them put them in the uh, either in with the seed the eggs or with the uh, the food so, and I don't have any big caterpillars right now to show you guys, but within a few days these guys are going to be big enough where I can start feeding them off to the baby, baby dragons. And then the ones that don't get fed off to the babies I'll end up raising to uh, feed my big guys. Him over here, Mr. Rocco. He'll eat a big four inch caterpillar. And then and Nova. She's back there somewhere. There she is. That my Nova. They love them some caterpillars. So a couple more one more week probably and everybody'll be getting caterpillars. So by the hundreds. We've been getting about 50 eggs per day. So, and when this big guy hatches here, I'll probably be getting a lot more. So, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.